Welcome to Miami Flying Club, Ground Training Series. Today, Basic Aerodynamics Part 3. Wing Shapes Some Examples, Swept Back and Rectangular. A rectangular wing as compared, to other wing planforms, has a tendency to stall first at the wing root, with the stall progression toward the wing tip. Swept back wing give an airplane a higher cruise speed, but at low airspeed the wing tips stall first. This results in loss of aileron control early in the stall, and in very little aerodynamic buffet on the tail surfaces. Stall and spins. As the angle of attack is increased, to increase lift, the air will no longer flow smoothly over the upper wing surface, but instead will become turbulent near the trailing edge. A further increase in the angle of attack, will cause the turbulent area to expand forward. At the angle of attack of approximately 18 to 20 degrees for most wing, turbulence over the upper wing surface decreases lift so drastically that flight can no be sustained in the wing stall. Critical angle of attack, is the angle at which a stall occurs. The direct cause of every stall, is excessive angle of attack. The stall speed is affected by weight, load factor, and power. Turbulence which causes an increase in stall speed. An increase in altitude, has no effect on the indicated airspeed at which the airplane stall. A spin results, when a sufficient degree of rolling or yawing control the input, is imposed on an airplane in the stalled condition. If the wing is not stalled, spin cannot occur. Flaps Extending the flaps increases the wing camber and the angle of attack of the wing. This increases wing lift and also increases induced drag. The increased lift enables the pilot to make steeper approaches to a landing without an increase in airspeed. Ground effect. Ground effect occurs when flying within one wingspan or less above the surface. The airflow around the wing and wing tips is modified and induced drag is reduces. Ground effect is the result of interference of the surface of the earth with the airflow patterns about an airplane. On ground effect, the airplane may seem capable of takeoff before reaching recommended takeoff speed. Out of ground effect, lift will increase, and induced drag will decrease. Any excess speed at point of flare, may cause considerable floating. Wake turbulence. All aircraft leave behind, two types of wake turbulence. Prop or jet blast, and wingtip vortices. Prop or jet blast could be hazardous to light aircraft on the ground behind large aircraft. Wingtip vortices are by product of lift. The maximum vortex strength occurs when the aircraft is heavy, clean, and slow. Pilot should fly at or above the larger aircraft's flight path in order to avoid the wake turbulence created by wingtip vortices. On the takeoff, a pilot should lift off prior to reaching the rotation point where a preceding large aircraft. The flight path should then remain upwind and above the preceding aircraft's flight path. Wingtip vortices are created only when an aircraft is developing lift. The vortex circulation is outward, upward, and around each tip. Aircraft sink at a rate of about 400 to 500 feet per minute. Tailwind condition can move the vortices of preceding aircraft forward into the touchdown zone. A light quartering tailwind requires maximum caution. I hope I gave you some value information today that helps you. I would love to have you join the club, so thank you for watching today. Have a great day. Fly safe and fly smart.